Marhaban, ahlan wa sahlan bikum. Today's lesson is going to be from page 22. Now, having analyzed the conjugation of uh, uh, the holo verb in the past tense, present tense, and the imperative, I thought it would be good for us to put some of the um, holo verbs into use. Let's do that by taking some samples out of exercise 12 on page 22. Let's start with uh, number two of the exercise 12. Oh Faisal, why were you absent yesterday? Oh Faisal, that's your uh, vocative. Yeah Faisal, yeah Faisal, oh Faisal. Now we're going to be using this verb, verb mean he was absent. Now, the alif, as you already learned when we were conjugating the uh, holo verb, that alif is not the true representation of the second root letter. Rather, it may be wow or ya, yeah, but in this case it's ya, yeah, because you know that when you know the present tense. Rabe yeribu. So the ya yeah is the actual letter, is the actual second root root letter. So rather, uh, yeah Faisal, oh Faisal, Limada, Limada is why, Limada, Ribta, now it has been conjugated now, Ribta, you were absent, Ribta Bil Amsi, yesterday, you can say Amsi rather than Bil Amsi, but both is correct. Ribta uh, bil amsi or ribta amsi. Ya Faisal, limada ribta bil amsi. The answer, number three, I visited my uncle. I visited my uncle Abdul Wahab in Cambridge. Now we're going to use the verb to visit, zara, and it is hollow verb. Zara, you see, it can, it's carrying Alif. That's Alif is representing wow. Zara Yezuru. Now, we need to conjugate it. Say, to say, I visited, you know that the second root letter is going to be removed because the third root letter needs to carry Sukun. And the letter which has been removed is essentially also Sukun because it's a lengthening letter. So, Zara, Yezuru, now Zurtu, I visited, Zurtu, I visited, Ammi, that's me, I visited, Ammi, that is my paternal uncle, that's brother of my father, Zurtu, Ammi, Abdul Wahab, Abdul Wahab, Fi, Cambridge, I visited my Uncle Abdul Wahab in Cambridge. We've learned about the family uh, trees. You know, Am does mean your paternal uncle. If it's your maternal uncle, it will be Khal. So, Ya Faisal, Limada Ripta Bil Ams Zurtu Ammi Abdul Wahab Fi Cambridge. Now let's do number eight of the same exercise. So number eight of the exercise 12, so why was Faisal absent from school? Why was Faisal absent from school? We're going to use the same verb, Raba, that would be absent. Limada, we know that now. Why? Limada, Raba, Faisal. Why? Faisal was absent anil madrasa from the school. So we use the same verb because that means he was absent. In English, you of course you start with the uh, subject. Why was Faisal absent from the school? That's number eight for you. Why was Faisal absent from school? Limada Raba Faisal anil madrasa. Next one, 
which is number 16 of exercise 12. Are you, this time we are speaking to feminine singular, single female. Are you afraid of traveling by plane? Are you afraid by, are you afraid traveling by plane? We're going to use the verb to be afraid, hafa, and that is a, uh, an holo verb. Hafa, you have the alif there, hafa yahafu. Hal takhafina. Now you remember whenever you are speaking to uh, anybody in front of you in the present tense, you have to start with ta. Now, if you are speaking to a singular, single female, the ending of your present tense should be ina ending. Hence, we have hal takhafina min safari bitta'ira. Are you, you here means there's feminine singular. Hal takhafina, are you afraid of traveling by plane? Hal takhafina min safari bitta'irati. Hal takhafina min safari are you afraid of traveling by plane? So, Limada Rabba Faisal Anil Madrasa. Why was uh, Faisal absent from the school? Here we're using khafa, that's a verb to be afraid. Khafa ya khafu. Hal takhafina min as safari bitta'ira. Are you afraid of traveling by plane. Now let's do more of these samples from exercise 12. Now we have number 18 and it is these girls are afraid of spiders. These girls are afraid of spiders. We're going to use this verb hafa and that is a verb to be afraid. Hafa mean he was afraid. Let's use it in a sentence and see how we conjugate it. So, هؤلاء, هؤلاء البنات, these girls, as you know, هؤلاء is a demonstrative pronoun that is used for human being, plural, three or more, and is a gender neutral. You use it to refer to boys as well as to refer to girls. In this case, these girls are afraid from spiders or of spiders. Ankabut, that's a spider. Plural, anakib. Next one, exercise 12, number 21. We said, Tell me, we're speaking to a singular masculine. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. We're using the verb kala. And that's a kala verb to say. That means he said. Now, the imperative will become kul. In line with what we have explained when we were doing the uh, conjugation for of the hollow verbs. So, kala becomes kul. Say or tell, call me, tell me, and then al haq is the truth. The haq here has fatha because that is the object. This is uh, uh, accusative ending. We have covered that in book three of the Gateway to Arabic. Please revise that if you are not sure. Next exercise number number 24 from exercise 12 and that is do you again we're speaking to a masculine singular do you drive the car to work do you drive the car to work saqa is the verb to drive saqa yasuqu hal tasuqu do you drive this is talking to a single male. Hal tasuqu sayyarata? Do you drive car or the car? Ila al-amal. To work. Ila is your preposition half jar. And that's why al-amali ending in genitive kasra. 
هل تسوق السيارة؟ Again, this is your مفعول به. This is your object. That's why it's ending in the accusative ending, which is a simple fatha at the end. Again, we have covered that in book three. Please go and revise that. هل تسوق السيارة إلى العمل؟ We can say it now. أسوق سيارة إلى العمل أحيانا وأحيانا أركب القطار. Sometimes I take the train. Now let's look at the uh, number 29 of the exercise 12. And this is Who told you that we are speaking to a single male? Who told you that? Again, we are going to use the verb to tell or to say, which is قَالَ and then we conjugate it. Man qala. In this case, it remains the same. Man is who. Qala. That means he said. But in this case, man qala laka zalik. Who told you that? Who said that to you? Man qala laka zalika. That. Who told you that? So you can see now the qala. It means qala because it's single male. Man qala laka zalik. Next one. Uh, number 30 when did you sleep last night here we are speaking to a single female when did you singular feminine singular when did you sleep last night so nama is the verb to sleep so and it is hollow verb and we are going to conjugate that now to mean when did you that's me we are speaking to uh, feminine singular Mata is when, that's your question word. Mata, uh, nimti, ah, you slept. Mata nimti al barihada. When did you sleep last night? Al barihada. Mata nimti, if you want to say, uh, and then we see now to say, I slept. The same verb, nama, becomes nimtu. Mubakiratan jiddan. I slept very early. Nimtu mubakiratan jiddan. I slept early. Nimtu mubakiratan jiddan. So this is the sample for you from exercise uh, 12. I hope that will enable you to go to uh, the book 4 and do your the remaining of the uh, exercises for me. And don't forget, always try your revision. Try and check your conjugation system. The conjugation system is very straightforward if you uh, understand the initial template which we did in book three. After that, the remaining of this uh, conjugation is a question of uh, adjusting a few things to recognize the, the type of verb that you are conjugating like uh, uh, as we're doing here with the uh, hollow verbs. Good luck in your studies and don't forget to share the um, links with your contact inshallah. In the meantime, ma'asalama ila liqa fi amanillah.